Hello, we're going to look at the Excel link command inside the Greatex Power Pack. This function allows us to bring in a native Excel spreadsheet into Revit as a DXF file, but also hold a link between the two components. So we're just going to show you that in brief here. So if we go to Excel to have a look at what we've created, you can see that I've created a very simple um, table. We've got some areas in there, some levels, rooms, numbers, etc. We minimize that. Within Revit, if we go to Excel Link and Link XLS, we can select that file that we've created, open that up. We've got different ways that we can connect to it. We've got relative, full, or no power. We can do by sheet, okay, or we can link the entire sheet and named range. So, for example, if you name your cells A1, A2, and you rename them to lower ground, then it will take that range, or you can link to a range of letters. Okay, so very much that you can do in printing in Excel. If we OK that, what it will do is it will create that linked DXF file for us. So it's done it and it's kept it there for me. If we go down to, say, a drafting view, okay, and we insert a CAD link, there is that drafting view there. If we open that up, that will bring in that sheet. And you can see it's static. However, if we make save is, saves to this and we close the file down, okay, we go into Excel and let's say, for example, we do a sum of oops, equals sum of all of those fields there, and we call that total. And again, we just tidy that up by changing the alignment. And we put a box around it and make them bold. Hit save. When we come back into Revit and reload the file, we will find in a few seconds that those changes have been made. So as you can see there, we've now got a total on there in bold of 172. So it will even bring over the formula with the component.